Okay, Leon. Just remove your little by mouth from midnight. Don't care. Whatever you want, Doc. You are my god. See you soon. Leon. Carla. Fancy seeing you here. Yeah, you too. You seem in good spirits. Do I? Yeah, it's been a good day for me. Um, I decided to go ahead with the surgery. Gastric sleeve? Yeah, it's happening tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Well, it was good to see you, Carla, but I'm sure my parking is nearly up. Yes, of course. Well, good luck with the surgery, Leon. You get what you ask for. Yeah, I'm not sure that's actually in the Bible. <laughs> oh, morning, all. Mm, morning. Demo? Mm, yes, my queen. Everything all right? Sorry, just uh, miles away. Oh. Speaking of miles away, that's where I should be right now. Oh. Yeah, I've got to go. Bye. Bye. for a second. Mm. About what? Uh, how you've ruined Nicole's life? How you've got Damo under your spell? Your patient, Leon Hendley. What about him? I just had a bit of a chat. I understand he's having a gastric sleeve. Well, that's what I do. He wanted it and he's getting it. Did he seem a bit manic to you? Manic? Well, the guy's happy, Carla. I was wondering if there was more to it than that. Sorry. In fact, I suspect he may have bipolar disorder. Oh, right. And that's your diagnosis after two seconds, is it? No, actually, he's... Hey, thanks for your opinion. Really interesting. Ooh, yumbo. I was hoping that you could tell me a bit more about your time with Leon. Well, it was obvious from our initial session that he had clinical depression. But then as time wore on, I began to suspect he may have bipolar disorder. What symptoms did he show? Well, there was the depression, obviously. Uh-huh. And he was having trouble sleeping, he would speak very fast and uh, completely out of control. Okay, anything else? Well, he ended our sessions before I had a chance to confirm it. You'd agree then that there's not much to go on? Well, as I said, it was just suspected bipolar. But I thought that Dr. McCaskill would want to know, or so he could make a fully informed decision. But it appears I was wrong. I hope there isn't anything clouding your judgment in this case. No, I can assure you that my opinion of Mr. Hendley is purely professional. Because I wouldn't want a patient to be a pawn in some kind of grudge match between staff. There has been some derision from Drew. You know, the way some men can be a bit patronizing and offensive. But I've dealt with it, and I'm fine. Yeah. Thank you, I'm glad to hear it. Leon. Leon, I need to talk Cut. to management. Okay, that's all good. I can make I'll do it myself. Um, what's going on here? Who are you? Uh, this is Dr. Chakravorty. She's management. He needs to be fired. Okay, this is Leon Henley, my patient. He cancelled my surgery. Okay, not cancelled, Leon. I've just delayed. I need it now! Okay, given the information that's come to light, I think... Do you know how long I've waited for this? I'm... This is the last chance for me to get medicine back. Okay, I understand this is upsetting for you, Leon. I followed the diet. I did my daily walks. I drank the damn shakes. I did everything you asked of me. I've tried my entire life to lose weight. But no. I'm just a big, fat, ugly loser, and I can't do anything about it. Leon, it's OK, hun. Just take a deep breath. Oh, I see. You're both in this together, aren't you? No, Leon. Everyone cares about you. This is a safe place. Safe? With you lot? Forget it. Why do you always ruin it? Your office. Now. Both of you. So, I decided I wanted another consultation with my patient. I called him in early. We had a talk. Clearly, there were some issues, so I put the brakes on the surgery. You're taking the credit? For doing my job. Carla alerted you to those issues which you'd missed. A little bit of gratitude would be good. I made my own assessment. I'm so sorry, Carla. It seems I was misinformed. These things happen. Apology accepted? Of course. Andrew? What? Aren't you going to apologize to Carla? What for? I deferred the surgery, all is well. If you're letting your personal feelings affect your work, then we have a serious problem. Oh, I'm not. I am coming from a totally objective place. Now, sorry if that's not what you want to hear. 
And were you being totally objective when you tried to talk Damo out of therapy? What? Y you steered Damo away from using mental health it services? It wasn't like that, and you know it. You obviously have an issue with me. No, I don't. And you know what? That's okay. Because interpersonal relations don't come naturally to everyone. Well, okay, my personal skills are just fine, thank you. I'm sure Leon would say otherwise. Oh, well, why don't you just say it for him? He seemed triggered. What did you say to him before the outburst? Can't you see she's doing all this on purpose? Doing what? Trying to make me look bad. Oh, I think you're doing a really good job of that yourself. A superiority complex is actually quite common in surgeons, particularly male surgeons. Ah, the sisterhood strikes again. I understand how you're feeling, Drew. You've been proved wrong, and by a woman, no less. But what if this were to happen again to another patient? Well, it won't. Well, I'm happy to review your behaviour with some therapy. What do you say? You're a conniving manipulator. Maybe actually some anger management might also be beneficial. Yeah, well, maybe, Carla, you should try not being such a bitch. True.